let's get straight into it. So I've got basic scenes similar to the Tilton text one. Um, I've got my lighting set up, but don't need to worry about that. Um, right, the chain, all we need is a path. Uh, I'm going to go 7, I'm going to go into autographic view. Uh, tab into edit mode, I'm going to hold control so it snaps and move it to the very end. That last point right there. I'm going to press tab again. I'm going to rotate it up, point, uh, rotate it so it's pointing up. And move the end back a bit. I'm going to bracket around the T actually. Um, what the path is going to do, it's going to let the chain and array know what to follow. So we need to set this up so we can make it wrap around. Pull the points down. Um, Carrots are like really easy to use once you get a hang of them. It shouldn't take you too long to figure it all out. Um, let's drag this around. Pull this down. Let's go to more. Let's get this point. Pull this down. Wrap underneath, then down here. It's gonna go up. Oh, with this uh, tutorial, it'll be a lot of just tweaking around. It's not too hard. You always want to leave that endpoint at the origin. So if you want to move it, just tap out. Uh, and press G to move it. I'm going to select this point and this point and press W and then press subdivide so I can get a bit more control around here. Um, right. it's starting to get into the shape now that I want it. Need to pull this point up. Um, pull back. I'm going to press E to extrude it, that way I can carry on wrapping it around. E again, make sure it's always moving up. Um, if you tab out you can get a nice clear view of what's going on. Press E again. Last episode I actually forgot to put the screen test keys on but I recommend this time. Um, hmm. Let's make it wrap up. Oh, let's get into a nice view to work with. Let's, uh, make sure it's a nice flow to it when it's wrapping around. Because with the chain, it gets a bit funny if it's a sudden turn, like it will bend the actual chain. But, we'll worry about that in a bit. Shape done. Strewed. It's really just grabbing and moving your camera around. Uh, extruding, grabbing, and moving your camera around. Nothing too difficult. I'm actually going to make it wrap into the E as well. So I'm going to make it fly off the screen. Well, nice stuff to show you how the mesh works. Giving it a nice flow to it. Um, press E, flat out there, and E again. Um, drag that. Again, make sure it's a nice curve to it. This bit's big. So if we go into the camera view, oh, it's not off screen, there you go. That is going to be how the chain is going to move. So, to actually get the chain we have to make it. So I'm going to go to 2 on my keypad. So I'm on the second layer. 
I'm gonna shift A. I'm gonna go to mesh. Torus. I'm gonna go to seven on my numpad. Um, it's actually a good idea to lower the po poly count and how many faces. So I'm just gonna half these. I'm gonna see four and six. Um, six is actually really low. Ooh, let's go to eight. And one so. Let's go to ten actually. No, we'll keep that twelve. Um, let's just center this by pressing zero. Tab zero. Tab zero. Like that. Um, I'm gonna tab into edit mode. Press C to enter wireframe. You know, press B to box select uh, all the vertices on this tab. Let's just drag those over. Um, I'm going to drag it until it's between these two grids. And I'm going to A to unselect B. Let's drag it all out again. And just till it matches. That's right. Um, Right, that's part of the chain, but we want to smooth that off. Um, and I'm just gonna into wireframe again. Press C, select these, you could use B, it doesn't really make much of a difference. I'm gonna scale on the Y, scale it in the tiniest bit. Right. Um, now if you really wanted to, you could use the array modifier and figure out so it rotates around as it increases in count, but that's just a tad tricky and why would we make it difficult on ourselves? So I'm going to tap into edit mode again, I'm going to go into front view, I'm going to press A to select all, I'm going to hit shift D, and I'm going to press X, so it locks it to the X axis. I'm going to move it till about these two are overlapping, and then if we go to the top, the, uh, three, and then I'm going to hold R and then control so it snaps. Then there, down at the bottom, it said 90. And then I'm going to grab the X axis again, and there. So what we've done there is we've duplicated, so it's in the same object. And same mesh, and we've moved it along and rotated it 90 degrees. So that should be fine. Now, if we go to our modifier, add an array, all we have to do is turn this count down by 2, so it's 0.8, uh, maybe a bit more. 0.8. I'm just getting fussy, it doesn't really make much difference if it's not perfect. I'm going to tap back into edit mode actually and just drag it along on the x axis. So it's about the middle of the chain. Just makes it easier when you want to rotate it. Um, yeah, so let's press M to move it back to layer 1. Uh, let's scale it down obviously. Rotate it so it's pointing up on the y axis. Strike down. Move it about the same place as the origin point of the path. Um, doesn't need to be overly close, but that should be fine. I'm going to scale the chain down a bit more. Right. Now, if we increase count, nothing happens, it just goes straight up. But if we then press, if we press curves and modifier and select nerve path, you can see it follows the nerve path as the count increases the array. So if we turn this right up, sorry about all that clicking. Um, you 
can see it wraps itself around and it gives it a really nice sort of effect if you're going for a hardcore brunch if that's really dark and gloomy it'd look really nice um, the chain's too big it's no big deal you can just scale it down but by doing that you will need to increase count so probably about 32 yeah just run that off quick um, but for now it's down to your personal preference you can hide the array if we do that back into our view you can hide the array and you could oh, just hide it you could go around adjust the path to however you want it so say I want this bit to be a bit lower uh, I'll bend that out a bit more Um, yeah, you get the idea, you can tweak it and you can just click back on the chain and unhide it. And there you go, once you've rendered that out, you can just take it to Photoshop and go from there. And it will give it nice shadowing and make it a bit more dynamic. So yeah, hope you enjoyed, bye.